Osborne's eighth budget and the second within a year of the new Conservative government. Well, we had to wait nearly 55 minutes into the 2016 budget before any rabbits were actually produced from any hats. Um, much of what eventually came out had been trailed and leaked and you could have looked at the BBC website this morning to see most of it. But there were a few surprises, particularly with the reductions in capital gains tax, the new lifetime ISA and a very welcome freezing of fuel duty for motorists. But looming in the background, one thing that wasn't mentioned, which is coming anyway, is the, the march and the rise of digital tax accounting in the next few years. The Chancellor delivered on a manifesto pledge to increase the basic rate threshold. From April 2016, the rate is £43,000. The Chancellor announced that from April 2017, this will be increased to £45,000. This £2,000 increase is a pleasing and significant increase. It will mean that individuals will be £400 better off in April 2017. The surprise announcement by the Chancellor was the reduction in capital gains tax rates with effect from April 2016. A basic rate taxpayer currently pays capital gains tax at 18%, but this will be reduced to 10%. A high rate taxpayer pays capital gains tax currently at 28%, and this has been reduced to 20%. However, this will not apply to the disposal of second residential properties. This is very welcome news to all people concerned. Yeah. The Chancellor announced a few measures today for businesses. Um, his favourite phrase was a roadmap for businesses, which was really um, a targeted at smaller businesses to reduce their business rates and larger businesses to introduce a range of measures that would implement the OECD's base erosion and profit shifting measures. He also then went on to talk about um, a planned reduction of corporation tax down to 17% now from 2020, whereas previously it was going to be 18%. Uh, so he's trying to uh, incentivise more inward investment into this country. The Chancellor went on to tackle a few perceived abuses of employment taxes, he's particularly focusing on termination packages where um, there's likely to be an employer's national insurance charge implemented on anything over £30,000. Also not mentioned, but uh, particularly relevant, salary sacrifice schemes are likely to come under the revenues focus very soon. And finally, to create a level playing field um, in respect of remuneration extraction from companies, there is going to be an increase to the uh, tax rate on participators' loans from the current 25% to 32.5%. visit our dedicated budget page on our website where you will also find a series of regular and informative blogs. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel for past and future videos.